Mr. Truck here. We're looking at some of the cool trailers, see what's new, what's different, what we can talk about, and have you come down and see, and I'm here with CJ. CJ, what's your last name? Altenberg. I knew you would know it. Now, this is a cool trailer. This here is a three horse with a giant tack room, and the big cool thing we're looking at now is this V-nose. Now, tell me about how that works. So the V-nose is a concept that we've been incorporating more on, on trailers today. Um, it will help with the way the trailer pulls, but then also our fuel mileage. Cody Christian makes your trailer smoother ride. Isolates between the truck and the trailer. So your trailer doesn't fill the truck, the truck doesn't fill the trailer. Your horses have a better ride, your cargo has a better ride, you have a better ride in the truck. Mr. Trek here. I'm at the National Western Stock Show in Denver. I'm in TransWest booth where they have these Cimarrons. And today I want to show you this new snap pad. That's just on the bottom of this foot of the jack. These are really cool. They snap on, they're permanent, and then you don't make such a big hole in the yard wherever you're at. And you won't slide around in the cement and the asphalt places where you have to park your trailer. They're really cool. They're rubber. And it'll also keep your foot from sinking in the ground as much if you're on gravel. So they're really cool, and these are being sold by Equalizer, the big jack company that's on all your horse traders, or at least the majority of them. And go try and sit out and see what you think. But they're, they have a cool purpose, other than just having that steel foot back there. You have a rubber foot, and you're not going to sink in the ground as much. You're not going to slide as much. None of that scraping, but it's really cool. So check it out from Equalizer Systems or Trans West here in Frederick, Colorado. Uh, customers have told us that it improves compared to the old, more of a square, you know, style nose. That this V nose improves uh, mileage by about two to three uh, gallons per mile. Oh, that'd be great! Now this summer, I'm going to try to test them. Get one of these, get one of the big fat noses, and go down the road to a tank tank comparison. But yeah, that is. I, mean, I just always think about fuel mileage because that's what costs me money, and that could save you a lot of money on a big trip with these. But also, it's easier in your truck. So, you know, on some of these mountains we have over here with 7% grades, 11,000 feet, it's nice to have a little easier pulling trailer. And Cimarron's always been great. I think they're the easiest towing bumper pull trailers. So now we're going to review this three horse, talk about what I think is really cool about this trailer is the giant tack, and it's a mid tack. And then it's even got a door into the horses. So you can go out there and check on them, which is cool. It almost makes this tack room also a mud room, which I love it. So, CJ, open the doors. Let's see how big this thing is. Fold down steps, that's awesome. Geez, even one door is big. You can put saddles in just one door. And look at that. And we'll do a, we'll a close-up on this saddle rack because it is so cool. It's bolted to the door. It has this giant latch on it. And it's got a spur drawer at the bottom. So there's four, so you got an extra saddle. Now we'll show you the inside of this, but CJ, what else is special? I know you got a blanket bar on that door. Yeah, we've got a blanket bar on the door. That's also on a gas shock, so that swings out. Uh, big 18-inch uh, boot box in the tack room. Big long shelf that you can store hats, miscellaneous items up on top, and then also a clothes rod behind it. Back behind the saddles, when this door shuts, is also a, a corner water tank. Oh, cool. Well, that's, that's making use of every single square inch in there, which is cool. And does this have the awesome fan on top? I see something in there. Uh, that's actually just a standard camper style vent on this one. Okay. And this is a Cimarron. Is this a, uh, this is a Windstar. Windstar. Model. Okay. So a little different model. But that is one giant tack room. My goodness, you could have the whole family live in this thing. This is pretty cool. We'll go through and show you all the individual features that this has. But this is a, a three horse. And we'll also show you the board, tire, and wheels. Those are 14 ply. And they're 19 five, so like a low profile tire. But this is such an awesome trailer. And then look forward to a video next summer when we do our fuel mileage uh, review of this and a big nose and then this narrow nose and see what the difference is. Okay, CJ, can you show me how this blanket bar works? It's got a strut on it and it folds into the door. So it's just got a gas shock on it. All you have to do is grab a hold of it, it swings up. Cool, and you got a brush bucket or brush tray throw. down below. Yeah, that's awesome. Now, over here, this, this is a, such a cool saddle rack bolted to the door. 
and it's adjustable. And my goodness, look at the latch on it. That's like what they have in vaults. Yeah. So you hide your money in here. Wow. Cool. Now, is there something special about that design of those pads? Uh, this is a new pad that Cimarron has come up with. Uh, I don't know how many countless molds that they tried uh, with different saddles sitting on them. Uh, but this is a new carpeted with this raised at the front here and then this bottom tray. So if you do have, if you want all four saddles on here and you slide your bottom saddle on, you can take your stirrups, lay them in here, and then you can shut your door without them catching on the door frame. Cool, and what's, what's the bottom tray for? for? For your stirrups. Oh, okay. So you can just fold them underneath your saddle and then just go ahead and shut it. That's awesome. I'm gonna look inside. Now up here in the nose, you got another tray for your accessories. That one there on the Windstar model, we've got plexiglass on the tail side of this trailer. Oh. So I'll be able to take all that out and then store it up here in this tray. Oh, that's convenient because that's what I wanted to do. I've had flex, flex of glass on some of my trailers and you wonder, what do you do with this when you pull it out? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Now look at this. It's another halter rack or bridle rack and look at the wiring on this thing. This is beautiful trailer. Their welds, this thing should, should be in an art museum. I love it. Got light switches everywhere and a lot of room. You could throw a few sleeping bags up there. And then this, show me how these doors work on that. So this is an 18 inch deep. Um, a lot of times we do some 12s, but the 18s are really nice. Just gives you a little bit more room, especially with this bigger wow. tack room. Oh, that is cool, man. Roll up all your sleeping bags and your goodies and all that fun stuff. And your spare tires here out of the sun. And that's where I like it, so it's not all covered in mud and you have to go change your tire. And my goodness, look at this. You got clothes hanger, rack, and a giant shelf up there. Yeah. yeah you could, one of the kids could sleep up there. <laughs> that's awesome. And of course, more bridal racks. And you notice it's in the carpet wall so they don't bang. You know, I've had bridal racks that used to make terrible noise. And then there's your water tucked in the corner. That's a good place. You don't even know it's there. And of course, LED lights all over the place in here. But I love the saddle rack on the door. Wow, this is so roomy. You could haul hay in here. Absolutely. You could stack a lot of it. And then back here is where your door goes so you can check on the horses, see what's going on. Oh, this is an awesome trailer. All right, CJ, now we're looking at another trailer here at the National Western Stock Show. You've got them inside, outside, all over the place. This is a uh, head-to-head. -head. So this is uh, Cimarron's North Star model warm blood 2 plus 1. We have a box stall up front, and then we've got a straight load two horse here on the back. Uh, this is a very new option that, that Cimarron's just came out with. Um, we've completely filled the center divider in. So we've got a stud divider down low, and then we've gone over up above the hips and squared it all off. And the reason why we've done this, we took this option and this concept off of our show cattle trailers with the traveling gates, and we put a rail system off of the roof. And once I unpin this whole divider, I can slide it over to the sidewall and lock it back into place. And then it gives you the option to have two full box stalls. Um, you can open up the center doors, load a golf cart in that front one, slide it back over, lock it into place, load your horses and go to the show. Well, that's cool. I like the option to put my ATV, my golf cart. Man, slide that wall. So, yeah, show me how that wall comes apart. Oh, the head stalls are out of the way, everything's out of the way. 
you can put a Mini Cooper in here. Yeah, everything's open. So again, you can have two box stalls. If you wanted to load your ATV or your golf cart, you can just swing your 50-50 doors open and remove this middle uh, post right there. And it's very easy to then just put right back, load what you need to, put it all back. Okay, this is our next toy hauler here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that is cool. A lot of times the ranchers, you know, will need to take a four-wheeler along with them. Maybe, you know, some, along with the horses and do the pasture. But that is awesome. And you guys still got the feed doors on the side. You got the bus window back here. Oh, yeah. And that's that rail. So the rail is like half of the trailer instead of being like the full length like what it would be on uh, your cattle show trailers. Exactly. We just oh. changed direction the, the way that the divider moves. Well, that's awesome. Well, let's go look at that side door and see how that works. Yeah. Well, that's certainly wide enough to drive your side-by-side -side while you're ATV and maybe even turn the corner. I like these big ramps. You could load elephants with this. That's right. Okay, cool. Wow. You got a walk-through door on this side with a bar on it. Oh, yeah. Get everybody tied in here. Now, what goes up here on, on these latches? What are those? So these latches are for the 50-50 doors. Oh, okay, well that makes sense. And lock back out of the way. Wow, you could haul all your hay in here. Absolutely. Oh man, this is very versatile. I like this. I'm gonna walk back here and look towards you. Wow, that's, that's an open trailer. Yes, indeed. Plenty of ventilation. And of course, the LED lights inside. And your latches are getting much better, too. Yes, sir. So on the hinges, uh, what Cimarron's done is they've gone in and, and put a bushing in there, and they've put a groove to it. So when you go to grease and you move, those hinges around it'll take that grease and basically you know evenly distribute it throughout the entire hinge oh cool and so it's a billet hinge made out of brass is that what it is correct well that is that is too cool i mean you guys always had great hinges had the greasable hinges now you've gotten better you know it looks like you have a brass and it's a billet so where you think there's a washer it's actually part of the pin it is that's correct well, you just never end on making more quality into these Cimarron trailers the Transwest sells. Okay, CJ, tell me about some of the other trailers. So we've got a, a new Cimarron North Star. It's a warm blood trailer. Uh, what it is, it's a, it's a four horse head to head. It's got the same Vinos um, that we saw in the trailer at Stock Show. Uh, it's got a front tack room that you can also use as a hay room. No carpeting in there. so. You can throw hay in there, and car you know hay's not getting stuck to the carpet itself. It's got a rubber mat on the floor, and then from there, behind there is a four horse head head with a middle box stall with a side ramp, so we'll be able to load those horses and unload off the side ramp. Uh, and then there's also an access door on the driver's side that you can just walk through as a man door. And then if you go to the back of the trailer, it has a rear tack on it. And it's got a new roll-up door system that we've taken off of the enclosed front ends of the trailers and incorporated that back there for the tack door. The benefit we really like uh, on that concept is when you go to get your tack out, you can roll that door straight up. There's no doors swinging to either side of the trailer that you have to walk around or a horse can potentially bump into or anything like that. Um, it also is a spread axle air ride trailer uh, that's also it's a 12 inch spread so it's going to help the way that trailer tows take away some of that tongue weight on the trailer uh, with that v-nose with that spread axle this trailer is going to pull like a dream as big as it is well that's so cool so i like spread axles i had one of my trailers you know semi calls it a bridge when it's nine feet and that does great things for weight distribution i like that and then on that one you have 16 ply tires so it's like heavy duty heavy heavy duty yeah we've gone with the 19 fives on this trailer as well with the 16 plies 
Oh, that's cool because that's the big thing. You know, the heavier the tire, the better they do in the heat. So I'm always all for that. Now, it's got special um, Ram Airs on Is that what they're called? Or are they called Max Airs? Max Air fans. Uh, we put a couple on this trailer. And what we can do is those are remote controlled, and they're, they're wired into the batteries. And you can actually turn those fans on to either pull air in or pull air out. Uh, one of the biggest benefits we see to it is in the summertime when you're traveling, you're stuck in traffic or you're waiting to unload in line and there's no air movement in that trailer, you can continue to get that air flow through the trailer that's going to keep the animals nice and cool. Well, that's cool. And it's got remote controls on it too. Yeah, remote control. So you can, act to, you can actually uh, operate those from outside the trailer. You don't have to get in there with the horses to turn those on or off. Oh, man, that sounds like a real convenient trailer for loading. I mean, load up the middle rack, decide which box they're going to go into. You got plenty of room, and that's a, a Cimarron. And what's the what's the model number of that? It is a it's a North Star Warmblood, is what oh. it's called. Okay, so the hunter jumper crowd and the dressage crowd and all that. That sounds like a great trader to haul your horses around the country in. Now, CJ, the what's the next trader? Is that a toy hauler? What kind of model is in brand? It is a Logan Coach Ultimate Sport Hauler. Is what it is. Um, the the toy hauler with a living quarters has become extremely popular extremely popular over the last couple of years uh, you can get living quarters in different sizes some with slide outs some without slide outs uh, 12 14 16 foot then you can go in the garage area you can do multiple sizes as well whether you're hauling quads side by sides um, snowmobiles about anything you want cool and that's and the, the solid wall keeps out the fumes i mean some people like that now, myself, the, the toy hauler I have goes all the way through, like the option you have on your Logan, and that allows me to put quads and all the way up to the bathroom and tie them down, and I like that way, but I would understand getting the fumes out. Is there a really good ventilation on it? There is. Um, you know, they've, they've incorporated some different, uh, whether it's roof vents or different vents that, again, kind of the max air concept of pulling air in and out. Um, on the lot right now, we've got one with a solid wall. So again, like you were saying, you're not gonna get the fumes in that trailer between the garage area and the living quarters. And then another trailer that we have currently on the lot does not have that. So that is all completely open when you go from the garage in. Uh, you can go right into the living quarters, but they've done a great job incorporating uh, things back in the garage like um, uh, couches that fold up right up against the wall and then you can fold them down as a seating area or then even turn into a bed so you can sleep multiple people in those trailers. Well, that's cool. That's what I learned about ventilation. After, with mine being an open floor, I unload everything, get them out of there, keep the back garage door open, and I always have the vents open. I have one in the front open at the top, one at the back open at the rear. So when I'm driving, it kind of sucks the fumes out of the garage. And then with that open door, you know, once we get all the vehicles fueled up and ready to go, there's, you know, most of the fumes are out of the, the toy hauler. So there's two ways of doing it. I mean, some people may not ever want to smell the stuff. <laughs> and I understand that. And you got you can get the special, the, the vents will have motors on them so you can actually power the air out. Yes. Yep, they are they are powered vents. So again, you can pull in or pull air in or out. Um, you also have the full uh, height rear ramp. So if you open that up, you get a lot of airflow through there. There's a man door on the side that you can open up as well to get um, more airflow in there. And when you mentioned about the fueling of the toys, uh, both of these trailers actually have a fuel cell built onto them. So you have a fuel station right there on the trailer. Oh, I like that. I don't have that now. So we rock around with our four or five gallon jugs all the time. Oh, that would be great. Now, what kind of, on the garage door, it folds down flat for the ramp. Does it have a garage style spring on top or is it a spring on the hinges? How does that work? No, what they are is they're, they're cable assist on both of them. Um, and then what you can do is it's, it's a dovetail as well on that back portion. So it gives you a nice transition point as you're pulling uh, toys into that trailer. Oh, that's sure. I mean, that's good. You, that way you don't have to put it in four-wheel drive and get a run at it. You can just kind of gradually crawl up the back door. I like that. Well, that sounds awesome, and, and that's a big future of trailers right now. Everybody wants toy haulers. They were big years ago, and that's all coming back. Well, thanks, CJ.